the culture b culture was happening l up here y'all already know what time it is on this channel we got the virtual drummer by you jam it's called legend it's a 70s kit and we're going to go through some of these presets all right All right, let's go to the very first one. I'm just going to go through some random ones. Let's go to another one. See what else we got. Got the vintage warm. So, um, as usual, I'm not going to go through all of them. It's like a gang of these, a gang of presets for several areas. It, it touches multiple areas. I, you guys already know if you follow me, you know that these type of drums carries, it carries a lot of things that I do on this, on this channel or for the music that I produce. So you already know how I feel about them. You know what I'm saying? So, as usual, if I was to break it down, if you are new to any of these type of drums, you jam, or most of these drums are usually set up the same exact way. So, there are several virtual drummer, several of these plugins on their site, and they're all set up in terms of, like, navigating around them. And I'll go through this briefly. So, basically, I am in Studio One, as you can see. And 
I love Studio One for a simple reason. The routing is just so easy to route things in Studio One. So um, basically you just pick the the tone tonality that you like the, the most, you know, say like this is may, maybe that's what you're going for. But you have other parameters right here in front of you. You can further customize your sound. You know what I'm saying? You can further go, you know, other areas with this here. So on the left hand side is your one shots. And on the right hand side is your patterns, if you will. So in some cases, this may be what you trigger the right side for patterns just to get an idea of what it sounds like. You could do that or you can just go ahead and use them to create your 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 music and whatever you're doing so there of course are broken up each individual drums right right now by default it comes out as stereo but you can go further in breaking them down and basically the way you do that here is just by going to each of these drums and just change it to individual so i'm going to go to snare individual tom individual hi-hat individual ride individual then crash individual right so what i did was i split them all out individually and inside of studio one what you have to do is open up these channels so that you can see i think it was was this three yeah six so yeah we got six open right now all right so if we flip this back over i'm gonna just get rid of that right quick so I mean, the main one this is the kick, snare, right, rim shots, that's Tom Zero, I think, oh, actually, they're all Tom, so all Toms come out of one, stereo, stereo. and there's my hi-hats. Looks like my crash coming is coming out of this one. So uh, my symbols are coming out of out of this channel right here. And then my hi-hats right here again. Now I wanna say some of the symbols are coming out of like two channels at the same time because we didn't do that for these two so you got to keep in mind overheads are another another channel so i could say overheads and the overhead is pretty much a couple mics over the drums which is pretty much what it is anything that's picking up the entire kit and then this one the same so here's my room which means we are at the total of eight actually it's 10 outs here i wonder what the Oh, let's just activate them all. How about that? Okay. So This might be one of these are the room or the overhead, right? You you figure that out. But the whole point of that is that you can process each one shot in you know individually with whatever processing you want. So you say you want a certain type of compressor on the snare drum and you don't want to infect the whole thing, you have that option here. You want to do something to the kick, no problem. You can do that here. The hi-hat, whatever. You want to pan these things. So this is my kick. 
Let's say I want to paint it. I can so do. I can do that. Now, keep in mind when you do that, you lose access to these functions. This reverb, this color, and whatever in the master area. And some of these things sounds pretty cool, you know what I mean? Because it it comes inside of here, but that's that's fine. It's, it's whatever, you know. You 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 make a choice of of what you want. Um. So yeah, that's pretty much how you would do that. And just come back over and you know make everything massive. That's what you desire. The other thing is that you can you can come in here and you can change out the kick. So I'm gonna make these master again just so everything come out of stereo right so everything is stereo say so like I like the overall kit right but I want to kit change it change out that kick real quick so Same for the hi hats. You know what I mean? So that's that's that, and then you could change the the attack, so to speak, or the decay sustain. You know, there are several occasions where I have used these functions down here for whatever purpose. All right. So, I mean, that's pretty much it. To be honest with you, if you dig these drums like I do, then there is a affiliate link down in the description. I hope you click that link. I get a small kickback from you clicking on that link and you making your purchase. You know what I mean? I will be using these in live streams, showing you guys how I put songs together using drums like this. All right. So that's why you want to be subscribed to the channel. Again, my name is Ella from the Beat Culture. I'll talk to y'all later.